name is Gitanjali Singh and the topic for today's video is Doctrine of Ultravires under Company Now. Now for starting, the Memorandum of Association serves as a constitution for company and includes the object clause among other regulations. The object clause lays down the objectives for which the company has been formed and defines the scope and the area of company's operation. Now, any act of the company that is beyond the subject is called ultra wires or null and void. Such an act cannot be ratified by the directors even if they wish to, and this is called the doctrine of ultra wires. Now, the word ultra means beyond and wire means power. Hence, ultra wires means it is an act of the company which is beyond the power given to the company via the object specified in memorandum of association. Now, let's explain the doctrine of ultra wires in detail. The basic meaning of doctrine of ultra wires is fundamental law of Indian Companies Act. It lays down that if any act of the company or any contract entered into by directors or on behalf of the company is beyond the powers vested in directors and company, then by the object clause of memorandum of association, it, it shall be considered as null and void. Now, such null and void acts or contracts are not legally binding on the company. These terms ultra wires applies to those acts that are performed beyond the legal power stipulated under the object clause. Now the doctrine of ultra wires limits the act of the company within the boundaries set by the object clause of the memorandum of association. Hence the company must use the funds of the company only for the purpose specified under memorandum of association and must carry on business or trade that has been specified specifically under memorandum of association. Now the doctrine of ultra wires act as a safeguard for the creators and investors of a company as it prevents the company from using the money of investors for any purpose or other than those mentioned under the sub objects clause. Now the creditors are also assured of the fact that the funds of the company will not be utilized in any author unauthorized manners trade, business or activity. It is also being checked as on the activities of the directors who must act within the scope of powers given them by memorandum of association and not beyond that. Now this doctrine was not originated under Indian law but the doctrine was first originated in the classic case of Ashbury Railway Carriage versus, versus Ritchie of 1878 now which was decided by the House of Lords. In this case, the company of Miss Ritchie entered into a contract where the company agreed to finance construction of a railway line. Later, di later on, directed reputed that the contract on the ground of its being ultra wires of the memorandum of association of company, Ritchie filed a suit demanding damages, uh, demanding damages from the company. Now, according to Ritchie, the general, uh, the words of the general contracts in the object clause of company meant any kind of contract. Thus, according to Ritchie, the company had all the powers and authority to enter and perform such kind of contracts. Later, the majority of shareholders of company ratified the company contract and however, the directors of the majority of shareholders of company ratified and said that company still refused to perform the contract as according to them. And, act, and the act was ultra wires and the shareholders of the company cannot ratify any ultra wires act. Now section 4 sub clause 1 part C of companies act 2013 states that all the objects for which incorporation of company is proposed any other matter which is considered necessary in its further end should be stated in memorandum of the company. Whereas section 245 sub clause 1 part B of the act provides to the members and depositors a right to file uh, a right to file an application before a tribunal if they have any reason to believe that the conduct of affair of the com company is conducted in a manner which is prejudicial to the interest of company or its members or depositors now to restrain the company from committing any act which is beyond their powers and which will be considered as a breach of provision of any company's memorandum of association of, or article of association, it shall be null and void. As it is an rule that exceptions lies within every power, but doctrine of ultra bias also have some kinds of exceptions. 
Now, any act that is done in an irregular manner but is otherwise intravirus, the company can be validated and ratified by the shareholder of the company. Now, if any act is ultra-wires, the directors of the company but is otherwise intravirus, the company can be ratified by shareholders of the company. If any act is ultra virus, the article of the company, then the article of association of the company can be altered by a special resolution to validate the act. Even if any property acquisition by a company is ultra virus, the right of a company over such property will be stay secure. Any incidental or consequential effect of ultra virus will not invalid unless explicitly prohibited by a company's act. Or if any action is intra virus, of the company's act, it will not be considered ultra virus even if it not expressly stated in the memorandum. That's it for today. Thank you.